Well, the Cheltenham Festival may be over for another year, but the Racing Roadshow moves on to Utoxida on Saturday. It's the Midlands Grand National, and here to preview the race, I've been joined by Stuart Redding and Nick Watts. And Nick, race rather got a lopsided look about it with the presence of Welsh National winner synchronised in it, but he sets a very good standard. Yeah, I think he does. He's still interesting, although he's off a £16 higher mark than when he scraped home in it last season. Shown progressive form again this season, won the Welsh National last time out in really good style. I don't think he was hard pressed that day, he won quite comfortably. And it's interesting they had him in the Gold Cup for a long time. Now obviously the ground's gone against him for that, but I think if it was soft or heavy he would have been a real player in the Gold Cup. And it's just interesting, I think he's still got more to give. He's the class horse of the race. Although he's got to give weight all around, I think he can do it. Stuart, he has got to give a lot of weight away. I mean, you've got Tricky Trickster next in, almost a stone less, and he was in, a, in the Gold Cup last year. Yeah, I think it's, it might just be asking a little bit too much to concede all that weight, um, particularly to some of the, what, the ones down the bottom of the handicap, and the one I'm keen on is Trigger Man. Uh, he has had some jumping issues this season, but equally, when he stands up, he's been going very close. The two times that he did fall, he was still in contention at the time. Um, last time, he stepped up to three and a half miles at Foss Lass, was still travelling well throughout, uh, plugged on gamely to grab third. I think this longer trip will suit and he's got a feather weight and I think that could, could really pay dividends in this race. OK, so trigger man the selection for Stuart. Nick, what are you going for? Well, I'm going to go, I'm stick with Synchronised. He did me a favour in this race last season and like I said, I still think he's going forward. And yeah, there are horses with feather weights down the bottom, but I mean, it didn't really stop him at Chepstow last time when he won really comfortably. I think this is a real specialist sort of race. You need the right type for it and Synchronised, there's not many races in the calendar that suit this horse. He loves a long trip, he loves soft ground, it, shouldn't, it won't be as heavy as it was last season but that should help him because it's a, long, it's a long distance. I don't think any horse wants it too heavy on this, on this kind of trip but synchronised there should be enough juice in the ground. His jumping was noticeably better at Chepstow last time out, travelled much better and although we've got a good second string in Alfie Sherrin, I think synchronised the win and if you want an interesting outsider, bench Warrant who's just out of the weights, four pounds out of the weights, ran really well at Warwick last time over a long distance, three miles five I think it was behind Money Order, should stay the four miles well so he's an interesting outsider but for the win I'm going to synchronised. OK, well after the marathon of the Cheltenham Festival we'll be looking for a few other winners on Saturday. Anything uh, you've got lurking elsewhere Stuart? There's one at Lingfield um, making its handicap debut called Chiang to Saint, uh, trained by Jane Chappelheim, got off the mark earlier in the year, um, they've booked Kieran Fallon for this handicap debut and I think that's going to run well. OK, well thanks chaps, good luck whatever you're on. Remember you can catch all the highlights on Racing Pace TV.